Welcome to Jessica's Ratchet Prison Cooking Show. So as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing a prison, I don't really know what I called this actually, noodle bowl? I don't really know what to call this. I don't think I remember even calling it anything. It's just an individual spread, so I would make this by myself in prison if I was not going in which means like sharing items with other people and making a spread. Now, a few of you did ask me if this is considered contraband. It is not considered contraband to cook food. However, I have seen certain correctional officers that suck, um, that would confiscate our food if we cooked together. I saw this happen in Arkansas, I did not see this happen in New York, but certain officers would take our food away if we went in and made a, like a big spread with like five or six people. Now, you would never do that to a man. I just wanna throw that in there. <laughs> yeah, we would cook when officers that didn't mind us cooking together would allow that to happen. That's when we would cook. I don't know if that just made sense. It made sense in my mind, but when it came out, I was like, what? So if you are new to my channel, I'm not glorifying or glamorizing going to prison. I make a lot of very serious, very heavy videos about prison, prison reform, my experience in prison, as well as my experience in my addiction. And it is the purpose of this channel to deter people from making the same mistakes I made. However, today this is a lighthearted video because we're gonna have some fun today, making some food. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. That's, that's a long zoom. I can't really see the viewfinder because I'm blind. Um, do you like my new story time setup? Let me know in the comment section down below if you like it. If not, I'll change it. That sign says hustle. I don't really know if I like it. I kind of just threw this space up really quickly. It's what we have for now. I'm probably gonna end up changing that a million times. So to get started, we have all of our ingredients here. This gold pack is dehydrated refried beans. I had to get that off Amazon because I could not find them in any store. I also got the hookup. <laughs> got the hookup on some creamy chicken ramen. So if you want to come to my cell later and buy a soup, I am running a store. Just kidding. That's a prison hustle too, to have a store in your cell. If you borrow something from the store, like if I borrow one soup, I have to pay you two back. So if you don't pay, there's gonna be a problem. So don't borrow from the store unless you know that you know you can pay it back. Okay. For this particular spread, we're only gonna use one of these. And I got shebangs, you guys. I know, I know, these are so good. They're hella overpriced on Amazon, so don't buy them from there. But if you can find them in different places, I would definitely buy them. I, I will spend my hard-earned money on overpriced chips because these are so good. They're basically like every kind of flavor of chips. They're so, so, so good. And no one in the house is allowed to eat them because I will freak out. Okay, anyway, I'm going to crunch this up and crunch some of these up and I'll be right back. Fire, it is absolute fire. Okay, I know it looks weird. Oh my, as soon as I open the bag, I'm just like, bitch, it's so good. Y'all wanna come over for lunch? I swear this is delicious. I'm not gonna put a lot of shebangs in there because I'm gonna top the top of it with them. So we don't need a lot in there. Okay, so we're gonna cut our sausage and then we're gonna cut our pickles. So because I was just making this for myself, I would save some ingredients in a bowl with a lid. <laughs> that's what, that's how you buy it on commissary, it says bowl with a lid. 
They're tan bowls with lids. Now I would, the bowl in prison that you can buy is smaller than a Tupperware container that I have. So I would usually, if I remember correctly, I would use a half of a soup and save the other half in a bowl with lid and then, you know, put my sausage in a bowl with a lid and just save all of my ingredients. Because this is fully cooked, I don't have to cook it. It does say keep refrigerated. Um, minor details, minor details. And I, I would buy a pickle, but they are very large pickles and they're individually um, packaged. I wouldn't use the whole pickle. I would trade someone like a soup for half of a pickle because I would never use the whole thing. And they're just messy, so I wouldn't want to keep them in my trunk. So I'm like, yo, are you gonna cook tonight? You need a half a pickle? Give me a soup or something for it. That way I could just get it out of my trunk. And I, you don't want to throw stuff like that away if you're not gonna use all of something. Or you don't want to save something. You trade it with someone that needs it. Okay, so now we're gonna cut up one pickle. You want to make sure, if you guys are going to recreate this, I don't know why you would want to, but if you do, um, please tag me on Instagram. Uh, um, but you're going to want to cut up the sausage really small, like tiny little bits. Now, um, I would go ahead on commissary day, when everyone has commissary, I would cut up all of my sausage and put it in a bowl. That way when I'm assembling this, I can do it really quickly. Um, because say commissary is on Monday by Thursday, everyone's hungry. <laughs> um, not Thursday by Saturday, probably a lot of people don't have food and they want to ask you for some stuff. So I always had to keep, I ha always had to do this really quickly. If I was in an open dorm, a lot of the units had beds with locks on them. So that's how you keep your stuff from not getting stolen. You lock your trunk or your locker or your bed. A lot of them have like the trunks underneath the bed. Um, so yeah, I would lock my, I would lock my bed, but I would make it in the bed, if that makes sense, or in my locker. So I'd be like in my locker, assembling stuff really quick, crunching stuff, throwing sausage in there, maybe skip a pickle if that's too time consuming, put the rice in and just quickly make it. And then I could go to the dinner and eat my bowl. But if, if you break out all these ingredients all the time and you're making a dinner every night for yourself, people are gonna catch on, people are gonna ask you for stuff. Guys, it's prison. It's not college, it's not summer camp, it's prison. So you can't tell people that you have a whole bunch of freaking stuff. You have to try to keep everything on the down low or you're just gonna have to be comfortable with telling people no. And I know that's very hard for some people to tell people no. You're just gonna have to tell them no. No, you cannot have this. You have to be firm and hold your ground or you're gonna get taken advantage of in prison. So I put half of the creamy chicken seasoning in this bag. This would be a chip bag. Um, you save chip bags. Um, or I would mix it in another bowl. Or in, I'd use this packet. Like I would put the ingredients in this. I did that a lot. I would put, I would take the soup out, put the soup in a bowl with lid to save the other half of the soup to make the spread the next day. And I would mix up the soup very carefully in this because these are very flimsy. Then, you know, the, the chips and the sausage and the, the packet, the seasoning. Oh my God, why is this so hard to open? They're dehydrated. And we would get probably half the size of this. This is 14 ounces. We'd probably get seven or eight ounces in prison on commissary. So we're gonna mix this in. Okay. So how's your day going? <laughs> My day's going good. I have rice. Now this is just instant rice. This would be white rice. I got chicken for some extra flavor. Um, I guess I cheated a little bit, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna use a lot of rice. Um, rice would be sold in bags as well. So we're gonna mix this up a little bit with our spork. Kidding. I kind of want more Cheetos in, in here, but it's okay. We're gonna put our sausage in. Now this is a very large bowl. Like I said, these bowls in prison are a little bit smaller. Well, they're also round, so maybe I'm just like thinking that they're smaller when maybe it's not. I don't know. Pickles. Not a lot of pickles, because we're gonna top it with pickles. Y'all should know this drill by now. 
<laughs> okay, so now we're gonna add our hot water. And after I put the lid on, I'll explain where the hot water comes from. Ugh, I'm always afraid I'm gonna use too much. Yeah, too much. I use too much water. You can tell it shouldn't be super mushy. So we're gonna quickly make a giant freaking mess. We're gonna quickly add more. We're gonna put the lid on. Okay, that's about the right consistency. So it shouldn't be muddy or it shouldn't be like super watery. So this is what it looks like up close so far. And the water should be hot enough to where it actually steams the container. You're gonna know if the water's not hot enough. So we're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes and then I'll be right back. So I have Velveeta jalapeno cheese and I get this from the dollar store, Dollar Tree because Walmart doesn't sell it, Target doesn't sell it, so I am forced to go to the Dollar Tree. And literally, this is what I do. If I see them, I'm like, whoop. So I have 25 of these in my pantry. Trust me, it's good. It's good for all prison recipes. In prison, this would be sold um, in a dry packet. It would be dry and you'd put a little bit of water in there and stir it up. It wouldn't be the actual cheese. Now, I promise to tell you guys where the hot water comes from. The girls and daddy are playing. So, um, hot water in the last prison that I was at was actually in a little spigot thing where you could get hot water. In county jails, you just get it from the sink. A lot of male prisons have microwaves. I have heard prisons in Florida have microwaves. The microwave when I was in New York was taken away because a girl was burned because they heated up something in the microwave. And Arkansas never gave women microwaves. So for me, I've never had a microwave in any unit that I was in for more than one week. And then the microwave got taken away because someone got, got hurt. So yeah, but yeah, they'd be these little spigots. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Let me just make sure the noodles are cooked. Yeah, okay, so. We're gonna put the jalapeno cheese on top. Oh my God. Why is everything so hard to open? Okay. Like I said, this would be like watery. It wouldn't be like this. Oh boy, what are we doing here? Hey. Hi, are you my dad? I'm here, just to meet. Ew. <laughs> Don't make it gross. I have to edit out so much crap that you say. Uh, so you're cheesing it up, right? And this would be powdered cheese. Powdered cheese. In prison. Did you tell them about? Did you tell them about your your you made out like a bandit with the cheese? Oh my god! I always if I go to the Dollar Tree, we are getting every jalapeno cheese. Throw back the whole thing. It's like a whole box. Like, like you know, you know, you know when you reach up and the, the pouches are in a box. She just took the whole box off the Multiple shelf. Multiple boxes. Multiple boxes. Okay, you are my guest of honor. <sighs> this is so difficult because. What I ate before this was Cracker Barrel. So <laughs> yeah. now I've been reduced to prison it's, spread bowl. It's, don't disrespect the prison bowl. How were you not blown away by how amazing this is? It's pretty good. I mean, if I was in prison. No, this is good today. This is good, this is good free world. Are you gonna eat that for dinner? Oh my god, I'm gonna eat it now. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? Really? It's so good to me. Well, that's what we did. That we did the uh, the military one with the MREs, and you're like, how can you eat that? I think they're good. <laughs> Maybe you didn't have a good bite. Maybe you should try another bite. Where's a good bite? All of it. <laughs> Get a little sausage here. Some okay. It's exactly how I had it in prison. It tastes exactly like it. It's not horrible, it isn't. So I can imagine when you're dealing with prison food and you make this, you're thinking like, this is legit okay. good. Scale from one to 10, all the other prison spreads I've made. This is probably seven or eight. It's pretty good. The nachos are fire too. Nachos are pretty fire. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out, um. deuces. All right, you guys. I'm gonna end today's video here. I really hope you enjoyed this laid back fun 
cook a ratchet prison spread with Jessica kind of a day. Stay safe, stay sober, do not break the law. You can make this in the street and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Where did the washcloth go? Oh, it's right there. Uh, seriously? This Tupperware dish. Uh, clothes. Oh, and <laughs> take my strong hand.